What's up guys, Euclid back here with you again and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. Last we left off, we killed the doctor. So there's really not a whole lot of telling what's going to come next. What I do know is that it is always worth searching every possible corridor that you can think of. There's like a picture down here. That's a face. Yeah, there's definitely a face on the wall. But I don't know if the doctor is actually dead. Because I don't think we actually ran into him in all the moments he could run into him. I feel like that was too easy. Like, we didn't see a lot of him. And we're not actually out of the hospital yet, from what I can tell. Yeah, no. Let's do it. Let's see if we can jump on this again. Nice. What do we like, break? It has the same sound of a full can falling. I appreciate that. This place is just decrepit. Like, no actual life could survive in here. Kind of wondering. Is there a ghost kid over here? God, the game sounds and looks amazing. Uh, anything to do with rain and I'm a pretty happy person. I'm trying to make sure we don't miss ghost kids. But I'm pretty sure we haven't missed a single one of those, to be honest with you. Had to turn the fan on. It gets hot when you're running an AMD computer for hours. I love it. What is that? Whatever that is has an eye on it. That fucking eye, that signature little nightmare's eye, is all over the damn place. Oopsie. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, yes. Shit's about to get fucking spooky up in here. I'm prepared for it. I need this. Keep going that way. It looks like we can also go forward. There's body parts in the dumpster. Half the time, it's like you want to double check just to make sure that it's not actual body parts of a, like an in-game person. Look at the mail. The overdue mail, the full mailbox. That's telling a setting, I think. There's... Ghost child. But don't miss the ladder, because you will die. It's always worth it. I feel like collecting all the ghost children will... Maybe help us to avoid skipping an ending. There's a toilet over there. The world's gone to shit, I guess. I don't even care if that's corny. It's just the truth. I don't think Six is going to come down with us. Because this all this is... What's down there, I wonder? Let's find out! Whee! <laughs> yes! Oh, what a glorious way to go. Well, we found the ghost kid. That's cool. And a shoe. People's mail is just piled up. This used to be a normal kind of world, I think. I don't think there's... Oh, look at that. An old snack machine. Got thrown out. So I guess that was it with the doctor, huh? I kind of expected more. It was creepy, but... 
He seemed like the least scary. He was weird, for sure. What is that, like, guts? Oh! Wait, what is that? TV. Those were bodies, I'm pretty sure, that just fell out of there. God. Oh, God! Oh! That is so fucked up. Alright, here we go. That must be the transmission that I've heard so much about. Oh. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh! A regular person! It's a regular fucking person! Of course we don't get to see his face. It's so rare that you see actual flesh and blood people. Oh God. Holy shit. They ain't regular. These ain't regular people. I hope the fall. A picture of a toilet. Really no point in being there, I guess. He smashed his head into the TV! That has to have been what happened. Yo. That looks like the teacher. Can we pull the plug? Oh, <laughs> it's fucking freaky as shit. Now, it's starting to feel a little bit like the game we played before. Ladder goes up further, but we can't go up that way yet. No! 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 Oh, boy. I'm sorry I didn't keep up with this game as quick as other people have. Trying to get to the transmission. They're all watching and they're disfigured as fuck. I'm kind of nervous. Maybe we should keep our light off. Oh. I couldn't tell if that guy was like regular human or not. It's honestly hard to tell. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh god! It's gonna fall! Just shut the door. Can we push it in on him? That would be so gnarly.
How hard do we have to pull it? I guess we can't pull it. He's literally pulled. I don't understand. So weird. Like, there has to be something we could do in there to fuck with him. That would be hilarious. Maybe we can come back. I hope so. Old elevator. Here we go. <laughs> you thought you were going down. Oh, man. Oh, so we can't go down. Wow. So I guess I have to jump at some point. Six will kind of remain up there while we can do our own thing. This is what I love about the game. And then we go, yeah! We'll climb up these boards. What I love about this game is that it actually pits you in this small human in form and you're... It's not the craziest thing. It's not that you're like this small human. It's that the world's gone to shit for the regular people. Looking-ish people. Whatever. Oh no. So we need a key too. Excuse me. Where am I supposed to go? Nope, no breaky. I'm not quite sure where we're supposed to go here. There it is. Lovely. There we go. There we go. Hey, a six. I need your help getting this door open, please. 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 And jumping. Guess we'll go back, huh? No? I don't know, I can't tell where we're supposed to go. Damn it. There must be a limited time frame that we're supposed to do something. Yeah, that's what it is. Maybe by using the elevator. Maybe we can't use the elevator. 
Fuck it, who knows? Or... How high, how far out can you push or pull this? And what I like is if you look up here, you can see the gnomes. This game kind of tells us... I don't really know what we're supposed to do. That didn't work out too well. Son of a bitch. That was completely a bad move. Oh wow. Can't go that way. Okay. You first, six. All right, back up we go. I guess. Not dead, right? Nope, just got a sprained ankle. <laughs> Very fucked up. We go up we go question is what does this thing do there's this office again yeah okay so we got the key again Okay. Do we hold it? I don't think so. Hold on to it? That's my real question. Is that rug? Nope! That do shit! That sucks. That sucks so bad. This part's a little confusing, but I, c I think I can get over it. Maybe it like needs us to bring it up or something. Creepy as shit. That sound, dude. Okay, so we know where we need to go from here. She's up in the elevator, but then we get stuck if we stay. So we gotta go up ourselves. climb up these old 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 walls that are not even used anymore this wall design is weird I used to work for a spectrum cable company that was fun that's its own story all right let's go get this fucking key I love the music and stuff that plays when you find collectibles that you're supposed to have I wonder if that like switches off the power or something. Turns off the transmission. Nope. 
that don't work. That don't work for shit. Okay, so... She's like, nope, I'm not doing it. Like, damn you. Are we supposed to go the same way? What if we're supposed to go up, but the elevator is in our way to go further? Let's find out. <sighs> elevator is just in our way, I guess. Or maybe we need to hop on. Nice. Yep, that's what it was. It calls the elevator. Nice! Ooh. Ooh, le creepy. Le creep. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go yet. There's a box over here. Ghost children. Ghost children. Yep. Guarantee that's what it is. Come on, baby. What have we here? Wow. So fucked up. We got quite a few of them. Just toilet paper and it looks like snacks of some sort. Or poop. Who knows? Cool we can throw it out the window. But this. This is, this is wild. That's a bird! Look at that, there's a fucking bird sticking out of that bottle. <laughs> there's a feet. You can see its talons. Ugh. So uncomfortable. And then office is just below. That's fucking badass. Alright. Let's go where we need to go. What is that? There's like a tall figure in the distance. That's the tower, the transmission. Oh. Can we go in the building? I think we can. Yep, another ghost! Damn, dude! What are these rats? A rat in a TV that used to be a cage. Guess you can open the door. Maybe six can help us do something. There we go. So fucking cool, dude. Because I have a feeling. Nope, you just you couldn't make it out otherwise. That's the only reason I have it there. Bunch of caged rats, dude. Yeah, the tower is pretty fucking creepy. Honestly. We're probably about to call it quits right there. We'll make it out of the rain. Well, it looks like we found our checkpoint, guys. I hope you guys are liking the series thus far. I'm really enjoying playing it. Little Nightmares 1 was one of my oldest playthroughs. Of course, my controller is being a little derp. Um, I really enjoyed it. The first one, I think, uh, so far I like the first one more. It was creepier. The mall was an incredible level, kind of being six and being alone. In this game, it's creepy, but it's not as creepy because the alone factor, I feel like that takes away more. But I feel like this game is a prequel, like the world 
isn't quite as fucked up yet. It's just like in the progress of the last of sanities being taken away. But in a game, this game just feels like one big metaphor. Stereotypes, horror, um, how stereotypes can drive people to fear things they shouldn't really be afraid of, like people that are just different than them, the addictiveness of TV, the fear of a doctor having full control. I mean, there's so many things that go into this game that I really enjoy, but we'll talk more about that when we get closer to and at the actual end of the game. So guys, if you like the video, as always, hit like. If you want to support me directly, subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to support me and a lot of you that are watching this. I see from the analytics that most of you, nearly 90%, do not subscribe to the channel, but you do return to watch the videos. It tells me that. So, if you guys want to support me directly, however, the best way to do that is through my Patreon. And I have four patrons. Their names are Paul Powers, Legacy11, Miha, and Daniel Cutforth. You guys are awesome. They're all in my server. Speaking of which, don't forget to check out my server, as well as follow me on Twitter. It is my most active social media platform. I will link all the others below. I did create a VK account for those of you following me from Eastern Europe. With that further, without further being ado, this has been a Little Nightmares 2. I love this game. It's nice to return to it in a more modern factor with the sequel. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you as we persevere into the dead city in the next video. Bye, guys.